Justin Trudeau promised sunny ways and no more heckling in the House of Commons. Well, Parliament reconvened yesterday, and that didn't last long. The Prime Minister should stop using his cell phone for selfies with Leo DiCaprio and pick it up and call Denny Coderre and fight for natural results. Yeah, yeah. Let's get off to a good start. Let's restrain ourselves and let each side have their turn and listen carefully. Now, that was our new speaker, Jeff Regan. I caught up with him yesterday morning as he opened the house. Take a look. Sir, thank you for having us. My pleasure, Mark. It's been a while since we've had an Atlantic Canadian speaker. Uh, and, uh, of course, you started off the day with a little bit of a party in true Atlantic Canadian fashion, right? So tell us about that. We invited all the staff of the House of Commons, and there are over 2,000. It was kind of a way for me to start off saying, I'm here to serve them. You're sort of like that other, more iconic uh, speaker in Canada, the speaker at the drive through at Tim Hortons when you go through. <laughs> point of order, point of order. Uh, double, double in the Boston Creed. Could you show us around a little bit here? I could. This is, of course, the speaker's office. Very nice. And it has uh, an interesting history to this because after the original building burnt down in 1916, in 1917, the speaker was Edgar Nelson Rhodes, who was, of course, a Nova Scotian. Another fine Nova Scotian. That was the, the last first, Nova Scotian, he was right? The, and he was the first Atlantic Canadian, and the, and the last, until me, the last Atlantic Canadian or, or Nova Scotian to be the speaker. So, Jeff, what you're saying it. is the last time there was a speaker from Atlantic Canada, he burned the place down. Is that, see, once again, a party, you see? You're starting off with a tea party. He had a party. Bit of a Kaylee in the kitchen. Yeah. Next thing, the whole place is gone. The ceiling is interesting because apparently Pearson and Ned Rhodes got along really well, well enough that Pearson had the people put Ned Rhodes' picture, his face, right That's into him. the ceiling. So he put his own face so he could look up and see his own face staring down back at him. Not unlike our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, you go in his office, ceilings are all mirrors. <laughs> and everything I just looks back and goes, I'm adorable. Why do you have a giant picture of Mike Duffy in here? <laughs> why, is, why is Mike Duffy here? Now well, this, of course, is Sir Winston Churchill. Oh, I'm sorry. I was... And it was taken, he would have been standing right, right here? about here. And uh, one day, years from now, uh, there'll be a similar picture, except it'll be like a Justin Trudeau selfie. <laughs> this is where uh, I keep my clothes here. Beautiful. I like this robe. Some semblance of this has been worn forever. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess it used to be that the speakers would kind of choose their own outfits a bit and change Oh, really? You could wear whatever, so you could come in like ago, maybe in Nova Scotia, like in a kilt? Absolutely. When we have the vote tonight, I'll be wearing a kilt because I have one for Robbie Burns Day for the dinner tonight, and I'll Wait. go in for the vote with the kilt on. Cross your legs, Jeff. <laughs> Absolutely. There's a little secret to this robe, okay? You, want, you don't want it falling back as you're sitting there. And you want to look dignified. You want to look dignified. So what we have back here on this side, pull them back here and you tie them. That's the case at the last minute, if you decide you don't want to do this, parachute, <laughs> and off you go. 